Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Yummy Mesh. Welcome back to Pokemon Snake Woods. Um, since the last video, I've been doing a little bit of stuff off screen. If you look at my team now, I've done some training. First thing you'll all notice is I now have a Mighty Ina. Evolved from my uh, Poochie Ina, and he's a beast. He's my new guy. I like him even more than coughing right now because he's a giant dog. And he looks awesome, or a wolf, or something. I don't know. Hyena? Mighty Ina? It's probably a hyena, whatever. Um, everyone else, I've leveled up a little bit besides the Mystery Eggs, only because Mystery Egg takes forever to level up. I don't know why it's like experience gains are so slow. It's just like, um, you know, there's certain Pokemon like the, uh, you know, Dragonair and stuff like that that take ages to evolve and level up. That's Mystery Egg for you. It takes forever. I, I did read in the uh, comments section actually about coughing stats. He, um,. He has very low special defense compared to regular defense. So when, when I face a Pokemon now that uses special def uh, special attack moves, like, you know, like Water Gun and stuff like that, um, I'll probably not swap into Coughing just because it'll take more damage. Where, whereas if it's a physical Pokemon, maybe like a normal Pokemon or something, or something that's using normal type moves or uh, fighting moves and stuff, then yeah, I'll swap to Coughing then. Anyway, uh, let us continue our journey. I'm feeling pretty confident. We're going to pick these uh, berries off these uh, little trees here. Yes, I'll, uh, I'll pick the Bluk Berries. Bluk, that's how you pronounce it. I'll, uh, I'll read what these Bluk Berries do after I pick them up in my bag. And hopefully, hopefully they're pretty good. I hope they heal a decent amount or something. Let's have a, let's have a read. Um, okay, it's a Poke Block in ingredient. Alright, awesome. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go speak to this sexy old lady on the beach here. Hello there, miss. I'm the only trainer left alive from Petalbug Gym. That makes me the gym leader. It means I need to uphold its honor by defeating you. I'm facing the gym leader? Are you serious? So I'm facing, like, a gym leader? No, that's a joke. I've already got the badge, right? This is just, like, wow, level 16 Zangu. So that's pretty tough. Um, I feel like my Ian might not have been the greatest choice of a first Pokemon against this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out. And I'm going to swap out into... Slackoff is a piece of shit, by the way. The only reason I have him in my team is because of cuts. But every time I try and grind him, he just slacks off. Every every two turns. Once per two turns, he just doesn't even do anything. It's annoying. Uh, okay, I'm against that. You know, I'm going to swap into Coughing. I feel like that's going to be the uh, the best Pokemon to send out against the Zangoose. Hopefully I can hit a Smog. Or even if I don't hit a Smog, hopefully I can just cause um, the Zangoose to be poisoned just from doing a physical attack on me anyway. Holy fuck, this thing is about to like one shot everyone, and I'm gonna freak out if he does. <laughs> or she does. It's a girl, Zangus. I hope I hit a poison. Okay. Uh, I'm a little paranoid. What I'm gonna do is instead of accidentally clicking off the game constantly, I'm gonna speed this up. Can I please hit. Oh my god, it can't even get poisoned. Are you serious? Okay. I'm just gonna keep using tackle. That was bad, because he used like three sword dancers and I just let him. Like a, like a, a, an idiot. Um, let me think what I can do here. Um, I think my Ina is probably faster than it, so I'll send out my Ina. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to hope that something like Bite is going to kill it. Holy fuck. The Zangoose is like a glass cannon. One hit and he's going to kill any Pokemon of mine. <gasps> no, and I didn't even like flinch him. Oh, please hit a tackle. Oh, okay. I think I got very lucky in this fight. I played it terribly, I'll admit. I let the Zangus hit like three or four sword dancers. And I did nothing. I was just getting impatient about how slow the moves takes to use. So I was using my fast forward uh, ability. And by doing that, I um, my coughing fainted because I wasn't really concentrating what was going on. But you know what? I'll be a little more concentrative. Ah, shit. He has that as a passive ability. Oh, he's trying to use attract anyway. Oh, this sucks. Um, you know what? I don't even want to send this guy out anymore. I'm going to send out Pekish because he has wing attack. And, um, no, this thing's definitely not part grass or bug, is it? I don't know why wing attack would be a good move. Probably should have sent out, I don't know, Mushroomish or something. Let's try wing attack anyway. It just feels like this could work. No, it's a regular attack. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like even though I've done some training to my team, I don't think I trained them enough. Because I'm having a real tough time here. I could try and hit a supersonic and then heal. Might be a good idea. Or, or maybe I should just heal first. Yeah, that's probably the best the best move. I have like a bajillion light potions. Where are they? But they only heal by 20. That sucks. Uh, what else have I got? I'm going to definitely need to go to the Pokemon Center after this fight. 
You know, I'm just going to set up my Tina now. I don't know what... If I send him back out, does he lose the attraction or is he still attracted to the Dalcati? I don't think he would be. It's like when a Pokemon gets confused. Oh, he's attracted now. But when a Pokemon gets confused or something and you swap him out and swap him back in, he's no longer confused. So I was just hoping that it was going to be the same case with this. Anyway, and now I'm asleep. So I'm going to fast forward for all this bullshit right now. I just hope I eventually hit this thing. Alright, alright, this is good. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay, there we go. That was a long fight. I was just keeping an eye on the health bar, because then I was going to use a, a potion if I got any lower. Alright, that was annoying. Thank you. The balance badge. Apparently that's another gym leader, guys. I don't know if I just walked up those stairs, if that was going to just allow me to continue on the game, and I wouldn't even get the badge. Because I feel like I could have easily skipped that trainer. Let's go back down. I just feel like I could have walked past her, gone up the uh, the cliff, and then just been like, yep, no second gym badge from me, and just completely forgotten it. But maybe there's one of those things where you have to, you're have you required to get the gym badge for you to progress in the game. I feel like that was probably the case. Anyway, let's go up here and see what I can do. Um, I don't even have Rock Smash, do I? I really want that Pokeball. Meteor Falls. Follow the town through here. Uh, do I have strength? No. Let me just check my item case, just in case. Get it? It's a pun. It's really funny, too. Okay, there's nothing here. Um, hey, this dead guy's got a Pokeball in. Let's see what it is. Ah. Uh, oh. Do I want to take this magic? Yeah, I'll go for it. Oh, shit, I don't have any room. Do I have any water po I I have Peckish. Ugh. Shit. Oh, yeah, I just did that. All right, let's, um, let's look around. There's nothing else here. Um, actually, no, okay, let's just go back down, and we'll try and go right again. I've been this way before, though, that's the thing. I'm just gonna see if I can, um, talk to this guy. Oh, yeah, I've already done that. I don't know why I'm going back down here. I've been here before, and there was literally nothing here. So I don't know why I've gone back here. I just guess I'm going to talk to all these people. Do you have, like, Rock Smash? Damn it. I want to speak to the lady on the uh, on the left here. Oh, whatever. Hello, Charizard. Aw, he's, he's too cute. I love Charizard. He's the best Pokemon ever. Besides maybe, like, I don't know. I like Charmander just because it's memories. Even though Charizard was a beast. It's just Charmander was, like, the first, first Pokemon I got ever. And it was just so badass to have a Pokemon and be playing it. God, I hate I hate the encounter rate on this game. It's so high. Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I've just been doing a lot of digging around. And I just noticed there's a couple of trees here in the forest that I couldn't get past before. So maybe, just maybe, this is the way I was meant to go. Um, I did spend quite some time trying to figure this one out because it didn't really make it clear um, which direction I was meant to go in. So finally found out. I found a Pikachu. I kind of want it, so I'm just going to throw a Great Ball at it and just pray that I catch this thing. Because I really do, I want mine a Pikachu or a Raichu eventually in my team. I think that's going to be a, a, you know, a good deal. It breaks out after one little twist. You know what You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to send a Mystery Egg and use a Leech, Leech Life. And that should do, um, that's about half his health. Now a Great Ball should work. There we go, I got a Pikachu. I like Pikachu. He's a, he's a cute little Pokemon. I might put him in my team eventually. I'll probably put him in my team instead of Slack Off, because Slack Off's a piece of... You gotta be kidding me! <laughs> Did that just lead me to, like, the same area? Or is this a new area? I'm, I'm not sure. Got Attack Plus, though. Jesus, I think I just ended up in the same point. <laughs> I was hoping this was a new area, like a new bit in the game. But no, I, I think I've just gone to the same part. Who are you? Larry the Looter, please don't rob me. Um, you know, the only item I truly want, Larry the Looter, is, um... Uh, Rock Smash. Oh, hey there, lady. Oh, yeah. Uh, I gave her a potion, and she gave me Andrelion Tail? Let's read what that does. Oh, it's going to be in here, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's have a see. Anadrin Talon. Hold on, there's raises the power of flying type moves. Well, guess who I'm giving this to? Uh, give, not use. Pegish! I'll give you that over Gamblefish. What's Gamblefish? Doubles the money earned, so I'll have to give that to someone, too. Um... 
I guess my mushroom's not holding anything, so I'll give it to her, uh, him or her or it. Whatever gender mushroom is, I don't know. Alright, let's uh, let's go all the way back then to um, where we was before. It's kind of sucky, because um, I go the right direction, leads me to nowhere. I go um, forward, oh, well, I go up, leads me to a dead end. I go down, just leads me back to the beginning of the game. It's all confusing to me. I'm going to have to cut this one a little short, guys. I apologize. Um, I'll make the next part much longer. I just need to um, find out uh, where to go and what to do. If you guys, I'm sure a lot of you guys have played uh, Pokemon Snake with this mod before. If you guys know what I'm, I'm missing or what I'm supposed to do, please let me know in the comments section. Um, in this video, at least we got the second gym badge. We made some progress. And like I said, I've trained up my team. We got a Mighty Ena. So things are looking pretty decent. Uh, not too much really happened then overall. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.